he's, he, he wants to take credit for what happened. In, in terms of the image of the group and what they can take credit for and what they would be blamed for, um, do you know if there was any sort of self-consciousness at the at the conference about it being a little ugly or at least bad PR to be seen to be cheering and applauding the news that America lost um, our Olympics bid. There definitely was. That, that message was not approved by everyone at AFP. Uh, Laura Ingram, who was the dinner speaker for the first night, m joked about it, went on a long, long rant, a rant about it, uh, chanted R.I.O. to celebrate the Brazil's victory. And I talked to um, Phil Kirpin, who's the policy director for AFP, and he, he was wincing. He just said, I don't like it when America loses. I don't think we should celebrate it when America loses. The more on message Olympic uh, speech, which uh, was, when, was from Newt Gingrich, who led off the Saturday morning and said, look, I wanted America to get the Olympics. I love the Olympics. Uh, Newt Gingrich is, a, you know, was on, is on board with this kind of jingoism, but he used it to say President Obama can't close a deal and he thinks his charisma is enough to patch over his bad policies. And that was a smarter framing that I think if you hear that coming over the next week, if there's real damage from this Olympic gloat, that's the message you'll hear them going back to. Particularly if they can back it up with some sort of some sort of credible uh, line of reasoning that the IOC voted no to Chicago because of Barack Obama's policies, but I suppose that'll be the fun fight to have if they actually pick up Newt's line of reasoning. Um, one last question for you, Dave. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that you wrote about today in Washington Independent is the the extent to which these activists are being turned toward electoral aims. They're being turned toward the midterm elections in 2010. Are they explicitly identifying with the Republican Party? Do they see it as their job to elect more Republicans? Many of them are. Uh, again, it, Gingrich in his speech made a point of saying, if you are in a Democratic district, go ahead and run as a Democrat. If you're in a swing district, maybe you want to run as a Republican. They, they want to couch this stuff as, as nonpartisan. And there are activists who don't like these Republicans like Gingrich who originally didn't support TARP and then did, telling them that the solution is to get back in office the Republicans they hated at the end of 2008. So there's a little resistance, but this, at the same time, they're all very frustrated. I think honestly frustrated. They think taxes are high. They think the government doesn't listen to them. And the, their natural inclination is to kick the bums out. There are a few Republicans they like and they, they like and trust. They don't like many of them, but it's very easy for them to get ramped up about beating Nancy Pelosi, beating Harry Reid, and supporting this sort of uh, anti-cap-and-trade, anti anti-tax agenda, which is what I think you're going to see all the Republicans run on next year. It's, it's, I saw a few skeptics, but most people are very ready to take this message and then go knock on doors for Republicans next year. We will be on the lookout for Americans for Prosperity uh, taking up issues that would be bad for Coke Industries. And that's how we'll know about the true independence here. I don't uh, know about that. Yeah, well, that's, so I've been looking. So far, I don't have anything to report. Uh, Dave Weigel is a reporter for the Washington Independent. You're doing great work uh, covering this part of American politics. Thanks, Dave. Thank you so much, Rachel.